Welcome. We are on. Apologies for the few minutes delay. We are on. This is the ninth annual CE Business Services Awards event. I'm here with Magda Klimek, my co-host, co mc for the night. Magda, welcome. Good evening, everyone. We're going to try to make this as interesting for you as possible. Most of you sitting, at, every one of you, I suppose, are sitting at home on, uh, on a computer watching this. Um, we are in a big studio in Wrocław. We've got the tech team behind us in here. Uh, we'll try to make it as interesting as possible. We've got wonderful uh, awards nominees for the for the evening. So let me first of all thank our sponsors, TCS, um, our awards, our, uh, rather our um, title sponsor, TCS this year. And the next slide, Mr. Tutek, we'll go to a couple things I want to say about this particular year, this uh, this very unique, unusual year, 2020, 2021. Um, we are. After two days of conferences, roundtables, we had 15 roundtable discussions today. Um, we also have chains of voting a little bit. So in addition to our jury, we have a wonderful jury, 25 people. They voted last night. We have also instituted a popular vote via the Hopin platform, and that was closed this afternoon at 4 p.m. We've compiled the results, and we'll go through that tonight. Um, we also added in nomination showcases for the first time this year. And we, as I said, had 100% online voting for the jury last night and the popular vote today. Next, next slide, Mr. Tutak. Yes. Um, I also want to thank, really thank our sponsors and our partners and our supporters again. There's so many of you that have been at our events over the years. Many of you have been there since day one. Um, we really appreciate it. It's really difficult to get these things done and change business models, change the way we're doing things, the processes. Uh, it's new to us. Uh, we appreciate your patience getting it done, and we appreciate your support getting it done. I especially want to thank TCS. I want to uh, thank ING, Windshuttle, AICPA, and SEMA. Um, Magnetic Latvia, Lithuania, as well as a lot more, including the nomination showcases today. Next slide. I want to go through just for a moment how the nominations work. Most of you know this, I believe, but I just to highlight it. We have website, nom website nominations go through the website. Um, we've been collecting the last couple of months. Um, it is a free to submit application, um, not tied to any sponsorship tickets whatsoever, as we've always done it. We then sent a, a package, PDF package to the jury about a month before this event. They got a chance to review it. They came back with a shortlisted number of companies. We published that on the website, and that is what we are voting on, what we voted on last night, and what we will be revealing here tonight. Okay, we're going to get straight on to the awards, and I'm going to ask Magda to help me quite a lot with this. We also have a couple of videos, and hopefully have a few people that are accepting the awards online as well. So, first award is Most Dynamically Developing City, Central Europe, and the shortlist is... Bratislava, Debrecen, Jasz, Lviv, Riga, and Vilnius. And I'd like to have Eli Elias from uh, Colliers with the first short video opening presentation of this award. Thank you very much, Tom. Ladies and gentlemen, we're kicking off the awards. The first award is for the most dynamically developing city in Central and Eastern Europe. Now, you may wonder, does location still matter? Many people have proclaimed that it does not in the wake of COVID. But let me put it to you. People want to come to the office, maybe not as a workstation, but as a place to interact, to innovate, and as a place to connect and engage to the social glue of many business services companies. We got six candidates tonight. We are talking about Bratislava, Debrecen, Yash, Lviv, Riga, last but not least, Vilnius. Tom, don't keep us waiting. Tell us who won this night's award. And thank you very much, Elias. And the winner is Riga. Do we have someone from Riga? I think we might. Uh, have we got someone from Riga to accept this award? We do. Great. So let's jump over to, no, to Rollins. Very good. Hey, Rollins, how are you? Good to see you, Tom. Good. To good. See you. I can hear. I can hear you pretty well. Good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I mean, it feels a little weird to be here on the also known as virtual stage, but actually, I'm in in the comfort of my home instead of the nice venue in Poland, as per usual, with in a great company with other uh, business leaders. Look, it's not a little bit weird. It's very, very weird. We, let's all, let's it, all admit it to it, right? Pretty strange. Yeah, <laughs> but glad to have you here. Very good. Um, congrats also on you setting up the new agency in Riga. You've been promoted, I think, a few weeks ago, right? What is your official title now? Thank you now? very much. What is I'm the name the of the man, man, 
Yeah, so the, it's true that the agency was finally set up uh, uh, a few weeks ago, starting the beginning of April, to be, to be exact. And uh, I'm currently the uh, managing director of uh, the investment and uh, tourism agency of Riga. Congratulations on the promotion. Congratulations to Riga City and to Latvia and to all of the wonderful SSEs from Latvia. Uh, thank you very much. Stay with us for the rest of the evening. Great. We are on to the next award. Next award is the most dynamically developing city in Poland. And the short list is... Uh, Bydgoszcz, Poznań, Katowice and Tree City. Good. We do not have a video for this particular one. So we will go straight to the winner. And the winner is the city of Poznan. Do we have someone from Poznan? Yes, we do. Let's see who we've got. Surprise me. I'm really surprised. Katya, great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How are you? Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really surprised. We have been waiting for I guess eight years. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, well, you've also been working very hard in, in those eight hard. years. Thank you so much. Well, I'm very glad, glad you guys won. Uh, glad to see you on screen and that you're here today. Congrats. I know you guys had a lot of new investments coming in and you've had a lot of uh, new expansion of your existing guys. Um, so congratulations to the city of Poznan. Um, thanks to your team for this afternoon for presenting as well. And uh, a big congratulations. Have a glass of wine, have a beer, a drink, and uh, enjoy it. Stay with us the rest of the evening. And a big, big congratulations. So we are now on to the next category, which is Emerging City of the Year, Central Europe. Um, and th uh, the short list is, very yeah. short list. Yeah, exactly. We have two cities, Debrecen and Kosice. Kosice. And we do have a short video presenting this award from uh, TCS, Prabal Data. Hello, Prabhu? good evening, everyone. I hope you all are enjoying this Business Services uh, Award and Summit in this new format. I'm really pleased and honored to announce the winner for uh, Emerging City of the Year in the CE region. As organizations around the world are adopting digital transformation to stay competitive in the new normal world, it is important that uh, there is a source of talent available. And from that perspective, C region is important than ever before. It is for us uh, to expand our capability and capacity to meet this demand. The nominations in this category are the cities who are doing it in the right way. And I congratulate the winner. And over to you, Tom, to announce the real winner. Great. And the winner of Emerging City of the Year is City of Debrecen. Dabritsen, do we have anyone from Dabritsen on the call tonight? Yes, we do. Super. Great. Hello, Zoltan. I cannot hear you. Can you get, you got sound? <laughs> Hold on a second. Stay with us, Zoltan. We got sound, guys? Sound, guys? Yeah, now we do. Is it Super. better now? Great. Zoltan, put so, it back up there. Zoltan, now you're live. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are really appreciate this award. This is the second time we win this award. It, it's fantastic. And, and we'd like to say thank you for Kosice as well. That's a fantastic city. And, and congratulations to the other winners as well. Well, congrats to Debrecen. Thank and you. Congrats as well to you all that are working very hard on developing the ecosystem of the SSEs in the city with your Debrecen Business Center Roundtable Initiative as well which has a, a number of the SSEs in the region uh, being part of that. Um, you're working at it. The results are paying off. And I will also say that it's wonderful to see. Um, I think we will see more cities in the region so-called emerging as we see the third and fourth tiers we were talking about earlier. Uh, and you guys have moved beyond that now. So you kind of graduated. So congratulations. Thanks a lot. And I hope you have some nice uh, Magyar vino there. I hope that's the right type of wine you've got. It's, it's from Eger, so oh. it's between Kosice and Debrecen. Yes, that, that counts. That's good enough. <laughs> Sultan, enjoy the evening. <laughs> We're on. Congratulations. Thanks Hope to lot. see you in Budapest or Debrecen. Good. We're on to the next award. The next award category is Best University Business Cooperation of the Year. We had a lot of companies here. Uh, short list is Magda. Yeah, exactly. We have Citibank Europe, Credit Suisse Poland, Debrecen Business Service Centers Roundtable, ExxonMobil Global Business Center Hungary, 
JSC TransUnion Baltics, Moody's and MSC Shared Service Center Riga. We have a video for this one. Mr. Tutek? Maybe not. I don't Good think evening, everyone. I hope you are enjoying the event. Pierre. Congratulations to all seven nominees in the category Best University and Business Corporations of the Year. Your passion and your team spirit to cross-fertilize ideas and innovations between business and universities is essential for our business. This is what is making it the engine for transformation and value creation within many companies. Without any further delay, the winner is... That was... Uh, Pierre-Yves Dorvern from Snyder Electric, and the winner is Moody's. And we do have someone from Moody's as well, so let's, uh, let's c connect them in as well. Mariano, That's correct. nice Thank to see you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Hi, nice to see you too. Very, very welcome uh, award, I must say. Uh, all the team is very excited. We have been working really hard to make this uh, cooperation with universities something sustainable, something meaningful and something that adds value both to the, to, the, to the organization, to the university, and to the country as well. So I'm sure that all my team is celebrating now. Thank you very much. Let me ask you, Mariano, to give us a, a one-minute, two-minute summary of what it is, what is the actual cooperation, the name of it, and why it's so unique. It, it is quite unique uh, because it has many different uh, aspects of it, Tom. So first and foremost, we're supporting with 200,000 euros worth of scholarships to bright students who, who need the money to pursue their, their university degree. But in addition to this, we're collaborating with the university by giving lectures. And the lectures are not only given by the staff of Moody's in Lithuania, but I, I guess that one of the advantages that we have now with the virtual world is that we're connecting MDs from the credit rating agency from London, from Frankfurt, from Spain, from Paris, you name it. We, we, we can give very good added value to the education of, of ISM students through this means. And we are in preparation. All right. Frozen. OK. Students to experiment back and experience. On. And back on. OK. So the Moody's lab that is going to hopefully once COVID is, is out of the way, we will open that in the university for students to get access to, to the Moody's analytical tools in the background and for the, for the lecturers as well. So we will be able to teach more about the methodology, about credit analysis, credit risk, and the whole integrated risk assessment that Moody's is, is, is all about. Super. Uh, congratulations to you and your team and also to all the wonderful nominations in this category particularly as well. So it's great. We are on to the next category, which is most transformed workplace Central East Europe. And I will pause here and say something the way we're going to do this. We have two categories, most transformed workplace CE and Poland as well. Um, this was a pretty much uh, interesting conversation we had last night at the jury. And uh, an idea came up that Look, everyone has transformed their workplace to an incredible degree, and I would say that the sector itself has had an incredible strong performance in transforming their workplaces. So instead of giving out an award winner to this, this category and the next one, um, and you can skip the slide, well, let, let's stay here for a second. Um, we're going to give out one award to the whole sector, the SSC sector of Century Syrup, as being a leader in transformation of their workplace, workplaces uh, globally, let's say, in the Central European market. So congratulations to everyone who has had an incredible job of transforming and shifting their work. Um, all of you in. Um, first time we've ever done this. Um, all of you in. All of you deserve it. And I would like to read out the short list, Magda. I'm not even going to say the short list. I'm going to leave out the list of all of the winners here, please. Yeah, it's a qu quite long uh, list. Uh, Amerisource Bergen World Korea Lithuania. British Telecommunications in Hungary, Danske Bank Lithuania, Moody's Lithuania, SCC Services, Tata Consultancy Services Hungary branch, TransUnion, and the companies from Poland. Yes, yeah. now we skip slides, please. Exactly. True tech. Group on Shared Services Poland, GSK Tech Poznań Center, Kemirak Dańsk, Olympus Business Services, CE Poland, and Worldline. So we'll let that come up again. So again, huge congratulations for this sector. You have, guys have been, have led the whole region, uh, incredible non-interrupted businesses 
um, for the last year. C huge congratulations um, and award to everyone in the SSC sector in the region. Okay, we're on to the next award category, which is top process automation implementation of the year. Hot category, important category, increasingly important every single year. Competitive, interesting, and we had a full day yesterday about process automation, a workshop, lots of uh, insights from that. So um, we are on to the increasingly long short list, and that list is, Magda. ACCO Hungary, AVIS Budget Group, Cognizant Technology Solutions, MSC Shared Service Center Riga, Norian Accounting, PWC Service Delivery Center, SCC Romania, Tata Consultancy Services Hungary, and Western Union Processing Lithuania UAB. And there's only one winner from this category, and the winner is Tata TCS. Congratulations, Tata. And we do have Prabal Bata, uh, I think Prabal Tata is here. Let's, uh, let's patch him in. Prabal, if we get you. Prabal, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you so much, Tom. Give us uh, a one-minute overview of this particular project. I listened to it in detail yesterday, but not everyone does. Yeah, uh, no. Give us a one-minute overview of it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's actually more than one project. Uh, what um, we have uh, achieved now or we have done now is bring in all the development we have been doing for many years on the artificial intelligence and automations and the different value framework into a product platform called Cognix. And uh, we have offered that to our customers, uh, either in the business process areas or in the infrastructure support areas to improve uh, their operations, identify the uh, on a hot spot and uh, remedy, remedy them on automated intelligent with the machine and technology interface with the uh, human uh, intelligence involved. So that's, in the, that's a broad framework of Cognix that has uh, delivered results for many of our customers. Super. Prabal, thank you very much. Congratulations, TCS, and your huge team, uh, both globally and in Budapest. So we're on to the next category. Next category is New Entrant Business Service Center of the Year. Um, incredible how many new BSCs keep coming into Central Europe in spite of a pandemic. Um, and we have a short list, which yeah. is? Here we have Alcon Polska, Ariad Next, uh, Elanko Polska, MacKesson Business Services Lithuania, Miele Global Services, Nilfisk, Rocket Software, and Trivium Packaging BSC. And uh, Wojtek, do we have a, okay, let's go, great. And the winner is Alcon, there we go. The winner is Alcon Polska, um, great. And we do have Alcon, yes, let's go. Who do we have from Alcon? Michał. Hello, Tom. Yes. Mia, Good, uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, it's definitely a surprise for me. I was not expecting this. And uh, I think that's a recognition of the all hard work that the AGS team performed here locally in Warsaw, but also the global team, which was helping us to establish the center. And I think this will be definitely a, a motivation for us to keep up to the work. The times are not easy, uh, but uh, so thank you also to all the other nominees because uh, I think all of us are successful if you are able to, to make uh, a great project in the pandemic times. So thank you uh, once everybody and, and uh, congratulations to all the other winners as well. And, and Michal, when did you guys start operations in Warsaw? Uh, we started them in 2020 beginning uh, and then uh, just before COVID I was even looking for some pictures so even we were able to make some you know First team building events there in January, and then uh, from March on, we started our onboarding uh, and operations remotely. So uh, we even were a little bit lucky. We did our BCM testing two days before the government announced full lockdown. So um, uh, yeah, I think the, the, in, we are uh, yeah, so I would say beginning of 2020, and, uh, and we are still a lot uh, to do, and uh, more projects and transitions are coming. So. This year and next year will be even more important for us. And your team is how big now in Warsaw? Uh, roughly 150 people at this moment. Okay. That's great. Congratulations for the award, Michal. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. For being with us yesterday and today. Good. Congratulations. Okay. 
uh, Wojtek, let me ask you, do we have any more videos? Just let me know when you got next one. Raise your hand and let me know when we got someone, yeah? The next one is yes? Okay, next award is, category is, Business Services Firm of the Year, Lithuania. And we do have a short video. First of all, uh, let's go to that short video presentation from Invest Lithuania. The award Wrong for one. most Wrong transformed one. One. Uh, workplace. Nope, stop that. Look, we all know that over the last 12 months, yeah, it should be uh, uh, Laura from Invest Lithuania. You see, you should have that one, Wojtek, yes? So while, we're, while you're trying to find that Lithuania one, um, I think it's just titled Lithuania, so when I sent you the link to, you'll find that. We will jump over to the short list, which is... Okay, Amerisource Bergen World Korea Lithuania, Metso Autotech Global Business Services, Moody's Lithuania, NASA Global Technology and Business Services, Norian Accounting, Rocket Software, SEB Global Services, and Telia Global Services, Lithuania. And you know what? It's not about making the mistakes. It's about recovering from the mistakes. And we recover very quickly. Tutek, wrote in the video. Dear Lithuania's GBS and ICT family, first of all, sincere congratulations to all of you who are nominated to become the best GBS center in Lithuania. It's a huge testament to your hard work, grit and perseverance that you have managed to thrive throughout these crazy times that we all live in now. Uh, you should celebrate, you should be super proud of yourselves. We definitely are. But one of the centers has to come on top. A sincere congratulations to the winner. Tom, over to you. Great, and the winner is... NASDAQ, Lithuania. And I think we do not have anyone from NASDAQ today, okay? Okay, we're on to the next category. Next category is Business Services Firm of the Year, Latvia. Uh, and the short list is... Alnex Latvia, ATA Global Services, Circle K Business Center, DNB Bank, MSC Shared Service Center Riga, and Tieto Latvia. And I know we do have a video for this, so uh, let's roll that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Taras, and I'm representing Investment Development Agency of Latvia. And I'm thrilled to announce top business service centers from Latvia, among which are Alnex, Atea Global Services, Circle K Business Center, DNB Bank, MSC Shared Service Center in Riga, and Tieto Every. But there is only one winner. And that winner is DNB. Congratulations, DNB. And we do have someone from DNB. I'm not sure who that is, but we do have someone. Intars. Yes, yes, yes. You definitely have someone, and that someone is not the exception from the list of the guys who are surprised. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> in big part because. Yeah, thank you so much. In big part because we usually abstain from nominating ourselves in, in, in different categories. But since Latvia is finally, finally getting place on the on the map of, of global services, we simply couldn't stay away. So we, we definitely wanted to, to apply. And uh, getting the, the already shortlisted from single nomination, that was great honor. So thank you everybody for that, and uh, thank you for the yeah for the prize. That's that's great. Congratulations. Thank and, you. And Intars, can I ask you to point to one thing or maximum two things that you think distinguishes DMB Bank's SSE from others in the running? <laughs> Oh, we have so great colleagues, but basically I would say uh, nothing new on this fault. Uh, that's people. That's definitely, definitely people. And uh, that's culture, which is uh, eloping those people. So nothing else. Super. That's enough to get the, to take away the, the big award tonight. So thanks again, uh, Intars, for being with us today. Thank you. DMB, congratulations, uh, and Latvia once again for continuing to push higher and stronger in these these categories. The next award category is Business Service Center of the Year from Hungary, and we do have a short video from Hungarian Outsourcing Association, Monica Swomska. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Monika Slomska. I'm the president of HOA. First of all, I'm very honored to present the award 
titled Top BSc of the Year Hungary. This is a unique opportunity to congratulate all those who during an exceptionally difficult and uncertain time strive to represent the very best that the Hungarian business service sector can offer. Again, it's all odds there have been centers that were able not just to overcome the difficulties in such an uncertain period, but also thrive. I would like to emphasize that even though each award, such as this one, has a winner, becoming a nominee for such a category is of great significance and a huge win in itself. I would like to offer my sincere congratulations to the winner and all nominees. Good luck. Super. Thank you, Monica. And the winner is... Drum roll, please. Oh. I'm hungry, right? Okay, as I said, we're not without uh, some tech problems occasionally, so we do have a blip in the process here for a second. So uh, why don't we take a second and say, Magda, from Wrocław, yeah, what is exactly. your company? What is your company? My company, uh, I represent company Smart Lunch, which is originally based uh, in Wrocław, but we operate all over Poland and we respond to the basic human need, which is food. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And um, our service is based on the application uh, through which uh, employees could uh, order meals to the workplace, directly to the workplace, with the funding from the employer. Okay. And now we are cooperating with about uh, 300 companies in Poland delivering uh, food to 45,000 uh, employees. So it's a big number. Big yeah. Number. And some <laughs> of those are shared service centers, I understand, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Great. Super, thanks again for being with us and, and your company. Thank you. So we're back on, uh, and the winner of the Business Services Firm of the Year in Hungary is Roche. And we do have with us Martins, I think. Is uh, Martin is here? Yes, I'm here. Hello, Hello Can Martin. You good to see you. Hi, good to see you. I'm, I'm so happy. It's, it's great to, to win this award. We are very pleased and happy to, to receive this award. Well, congratulations as well. Uh, now, for those of you, you, those of who didn't have the privilege of reading the the jury package like I did in detail, give us uh, one or two points. What what distinguishes Roche from uh, anyone else? Or just give us a couple of points, highlights of why you deserve this. Yeah, I think first of all, you know, I think we made a tremendous uh, journey here in Hungary. We started in 2006, and then we grew to 1,300 by now. And I think. What we did starting last year or the last two years or so was really to bring in much more uh, more value adding roles into here and we are bringing in really roles now which are not typically for for business services so we bring roles in which are you know regulatory we are, we are a healthcare company so we'll bring roles in that is uh, helping our regulatory teams to to provide uh, to health authority things we, we have uh, digital publishing here besides the normal you know finance uh, uh, procurement it hr services and i think that's a big differentiator that we bring really very different types of services as well in and the second one big one i think that we are doing is really that we really have a huge uh, uh, focus on our people and i think we, we can see this in our attrition that really significantly uh, went down over the last couple of years and as well the engagement went went up very high so i think we have a great place to work uh, which which we worked on very hard great well congratulations martin and roche uh, winner of the year for hungary Great. We are now on to the next category, which is the top BSc of the year for Romania. And I believe you do have a short video, right, Mr. Tutek? Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Dan Zaharia from Extend Romania. In the last 10 years, the IT and outsourcing industry has been growing to 7% uh, of the Romanian GDP, employing uh, 200,000 uh, people. Uh, congratulations to uh, the finalist of uh, top uh, uh, business uh, services uh, centers in Romania category uh, this edition and of course uh, congratulations to the 
uh, company that's, uh, that uh, won this uh, category in 2021. Tom, back to you. Great. So, the short list is... Nes Romania, SCC Services, and Society General Global Solution Center. And the winner is Ness out of Romania. And do we have someone from Ness? We do not. Okay. We will move on. Congratulations to Ness, Romania, based in Yash. Again, kind of a win for the city of Yash as well. Uh, and thanks again, as usual, for Dan Zaharia pushing very hard this event and the whole region uh, to tra attract investment into Yash, Romania. Wonderful place, by the way. Our next category is Business Services Firm of the Year, Czech Republic. Um, I don't think we have a video, do we, Mr. Totek? I think not. Um, the short list is Magda. Deutsche Telekom Services Europe, Czech Republic, ExxonMobil Business Support Center, Czechia, Mann und Hummel, and Sita Incorporation. Let me create, I think we do have a video, don't we? Yes, yes, great. Good evening to everyone. I would like to announce the next category, which is the top GBS in the Czech Republic. I would like to say how proud I am of all companies, our nominees, how they develop and grew during the last years, and especially during the last one, how facing all the challenges and consequences of the pandemic. You all deserve a big applause, honestly. But the winner can be only one. So to the winner, my big congratulations. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Teresa, great. So, so the winner of the year, Business Services Firm of the Year, Czech Republic, is Deutsche Telekom. And we do have uh, someone from Deutsche Telekom online as well. We'd love to hear a bit more from him. Is that Jan? Uh, yes. yeah, thank you, but uh, actually I'm from, uh, from Slovakia, so... Uh, we know that, no, we know that. No, we, no, I, I knew that, but we, so. yeah, we didn't catch someone from Deutsche Telekom in Czech Republic, but we figured that's close enough. You're about as close as we're going to get. So, Jan, tell yeah. us a bit about it. Uh, it's a, it's a part of an uh, internal service provider in, in uh, Deutsche Telekom Group. So, I'm uh, really happy also from, uh, from colleagues from Czech Republic to uh, receive this, uh, this award because uh, we, we really uh, appreciate this. And I would say it's, uh, it's all about uh, company and uh, our culture where, where the employees are uh, most most important things in uh, in uh, our company. So uh, we are um, or we, we we try to put uh, all employees in centricity of all our decisions. So I would say this uh, thanks to this Miss Deutsche Telekom Services Europe, also Czech Republic, one of the best uh, service uh, center in in Czech Republic. And since we've got you online, give us a overview of what Deutsche Telekom is doing in Bratislava. Yeah, in in uh, Bratislava, we actually providing uh, financial services in, uh, in uh, procurement and, and uh, purchasing services. Uh, but in uh, recent years, we we uh, transfer also to uh, shared services, which provides uh, digital solutions in terms of uh, automatization, artificial artificial intelligence, and uh, so so from uh, from the I would say the common uh, shared services we are transforming to. Uh, so after internal service provider also for uh, artificial intelligence. Interesting. Great. Jan, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for accepting the award on behalf of Deutsche Telekom Czech. Uh, appreciate it very much. We're on to the next awards category, which is Business Services Firm of the Year, Slovakia. Uh, do we have a video here to check? Okay, so we uh, marked the short list is. Yeah, two companies, Deutsche Telekom Services Europe Slovakia and Swiss Re. Swiss Re, okay. Any uh, videos here, gentlemen? Anyone accepting the surprise? I think not. So the winner is Swiss Re. In fact, we do have someone from Swiss Re, I understand. So uh, let's patch him or her in. Um, congratulations, Swiss Re. Ah, for Barbara from Sario, great, great, super Barbara. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. And I am very grateful for uh, Swiss Re for being awarded tonight for the Business Services Firm of the Year in Slovakia. The company definitely deserves this award for the active year they have behind. And I'm really confident that uh, this award will help the company to attain further growth and success in the future. Thank you. 
Great. Well, thanks again for Savio, uh, the, the Slovakia Investment Agency, for pushing harder every year and being here with us this time. Business services firm, now we're going to jump into Poland, and we're going into a new approach this year, which is having new nominations for each city, for each major city, some major cities. We start with Warsaw, so business services firm of the Warsaw. We do have a video, I believe, from, uh, from Adaptive SAG, which is Christian Bestry. Christian, welcome to stage. Good evening, everyone. Christian Bestry from Adaptive Solutions and Advisory Group, leading business services consulting practice, supporting multiple GBS organizations in their business design, transition, and transformation journeys. We are honored to be a lifetime partner of this event as well. And it's a pleasure to pass big congratulations and initiate big applause to the winner of the Top Business Services Center Warsaw category. Good job, guys. And the shortlist is, Magda? Marsh European Business Support Center, Frista, CE Poland and Worldline. And the winner is Marsh McLennan. And I do believe we have Marta Steer online here. Uh, let's jump over to Marta. Congratulations, Marta. Hi. Hi, no, super. Thank you. Thank you. This is really, you know, I really believe that, you know, this company and, and everyone um, that works at the European Business Support Center, we've, we've really achieved so much together the last year. Um, so thank you so much for everyone that has voted for us. And thank you for all the great discussions and connections the last two days. I've really enjoyed myself. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, EB EBSC is, is really special. I'm very proud to work for March. Um, I think the transformation that we're going through as an organization and the growth that we have in our center is, is, is very unique. Um, and I think, you know, it's down to our people, their engagement, um, their, their, their ideas, um, the creativity of, you know, some of the ideas that have come up over the last year during these these unprecedented times have been uh, have have really helped us build the right kind of culture that we need and the change agility to help us be successful as we grow in the future. So thank you, thank you all very much, and uh, very happy to receive this award. Great, okay. congratulations, Marta, and all the Marsh team. And I will say a funny thing that uh, um, I think noticing your energy in the last couple of days, um, one of the guys on our team, Rafael, said Mar Marsh is going to win. They're going to win, and in fact, <laughs> they did. Good. So we're on the next category, which is the next city in Poland. Um, business Center, Business BSC Firm of the Year for Krakow. And appropriately, we do have a video from Andrew Hallam from Aspire. Uh, roll the video, please. So the best business service center um, in the best city in the region, in Krakow. <laughs> um, well, I can think of 150 companies um, that deserve to win this award. So congratulations to the four companies um, that have been nominated. Um, ABB, um, really a community leader over the last 12 months, um, always ready to offer insights, pulling the community together as we successfully um, fought uh, with COVID. Um, Cisco, um, in the last 12 months, um, a transitioned core IT services um, to their center uh, in, in Krakow, um, really showing the visibility and the profile that the center has um, within the business. Um, Heineken, well, really, they've um, uh, ticked all the right boxes, um, moved the dial in the right direction in all areas of, of GBS uh, delivery over the last 12 months. Um, expanding scope at, at both ends. Um, and Lumbeck, um, really fine example of uh, a, a small centre um, thriving uh, in a competitive environment. So congratulations to all four. Unfortunately, only one can win. Um, over to Tom to tell us who the winner is. Great. Thank you very much, Andrew. And the winner is Heineken Global Services. Heineken, we do, I think, have also Akos Magyari from Heineken here today with us. Akos, can we get you on screen there? Congratulations, Akos. Hello. Thank you very much. Very good evening to everyone. I have a good one already. This is really amazing news. And I'm really very happy to get this recognition for our company because 
We had amazing other nominees as well, great three other companies. And I couldn't hear exactly what Andrew was saying, but maybe he was telling how uh, many great uh, uh, centers we have here in Krakow. So being chosen from that, that's amazing. Let me thank it uh, to my people. That's 1,100 people working in Heineken, Krakow Shed Service Center, and they did an amazing job in the last year, despite the pandemic and, and everything. We do amazing transformation. I'm going to thank you to my company because uh, they want to leverage us more and more, and that's, that gives us opportunity to grow, and that's amazing. And if you allow me, I would like to really thank you to all our fellow centers in Krakow and also in this call as well, because it's great how we can learn from each other, and, and, uh, and that makes us all of us better and better. So this is fantastic. Thank you very much for having me here. Congratulations, Akos. Very good. Well-deserved. Heineken, Akos, thank you very much. And I will say also that has been, that's a good point for the last two days of, of roundtable discussions and conferences. It is all about exchanging ideas, growing the ecosystem, learning from each other and discussing these things with your peers. And that has been a wonderful result of these very intensive last two days. So we're on to the next category, which is business services firm of the year, Wrocław. Uh, I don't think we have a video here. Um, and the short list is Magda. Freem Global Service Center Poland, Credit Suisse Poland, Olympus Business Services, Scheffler Global Services Europe, and SoftServe Tata Consultancy Services Hungary branch. That's a typo. The two companies, SoftServe and Tata Consultancy Services. And the winner is Credit Suisse. Congratulations, Wrocław. And we do have Aneta or Dominika. Dominika, hello. Dominica. Nice to see you. Yes, Dominika. Hi. Hi, nice to see you. Congratulations. It's, it's a great pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm sorry that Aneta Katemba, she, she was supposed to represent us uh, today. She couldn't join, but I'm happy to be here with you. And even more happy to, to hear that my company has been awarded. Yeah? So we celebrate at Kuretz with lots of 15 years next year. Um, so this will be a great recognition for our employees and, and for our company. But our uh, presence in Poland uh, dates back to 1992, uh, uh, where we started, you know, our first invest investment banking franchise. And then in 2007, uh, we opened our credits with World 12 office. So I'm very happy to be here again. And thank you for this recognition. And Dominika, you all are one of the few SSEs in Poland that has expanded to a second city because you all are in both Wrocław exactly. and in Warsaw, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. We have a presence in Warsaw and we celebrate five years in Warsaw this year. So this was like in 2016. Yeah. Super. Um, Great. And could you say one or two points about what you guys are doing that might be unique, different, um, that let's say in your mind would justify this award? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm putting so you on the spot. We, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so credits with Wrocław, well, you know, obviously we have we have grown our presence um, to two to five over five thousand employees. We yeah. are one of the largest employers in the in the sector in Lower Silesia. The people, I will not be unique. But my predecessor has already told us that we all uh, think that this is the people that are uh, our assets, uh, and we care about them and really help them to grow and build long lasting careers. So the people in our organizational culture, which is also great. Uh, we hear that when people are leaving us for other companies to pursue some other uh, opportunities and careers, they come back and they say that Credit Suisse is really the greatest place to work. Great. Congratulations, Dominika. Credit Suisse. Thank in you. Wrocław. So we're on to the next category, which is top BSC firm of the year in Poznan. And the short list is GSK Tech Poznan and Miele Global Services. And the winner is GSK Tech Poznan. Uh, we do not have tonight anyone from GSK Tech. Uh, so congratulations, GSK Tech Poznan. We're on to the next category, which is GS, uh, excuse me, the um, top BSC firm of the year, Gdańsk, Gdynia. Um, and the short list is? DNV and Thyssen Group Group Services, Gdańsk. And the winner is DNV. In Gdynia. Do we have anyone from Gdynia trying to catch someone from Gdynia? Nope, no one from Gdynia tonight. Okay. Great. We are now on to the next category, which is top business services firm of the year, other Poland. And this was meant to be a catch-all category for firms that are spread out across Poland. And the short list is? 
PKB Energetyka CUF and PWC Service Delivery Center. And the winner is PWC Service Delivery Center in Katowice. And I assume we have someone from PWC. Is that Rafael? Rafael, congratulations. Hi, thanks. thanks very much. Really happy to receive the award. Um, so uh, surprising me as well because uh, we're taking part in this uh, whole event, very nice event, a lot of good discussions. And uh, uh, I was talking about our company that, um, and uh, um, as all are speaking, people are the most important thing, but I, I think I can show you that it is because we are actually at the office and there are my, my guys okay. who are sitting here watching the whole <laughs> gala as well. So we're having a nice dinner afterwards. So um, it's, it's all COVID safe, but we, um, we do want to celebrate together and use this opportunity as well. So uh, this award helps us as well to yeah, have a smile on our face. Thanks very much. Super. Good to have smiles on faces these days and a little bit of a light touch. Rafael and your team, PwC Service Delivery Center in Katowice. Next category is Business Services Firm of the Year across Central Europe. And again, this is a category where there was not enough nominations in a particular area, like let's say Moldova or Bulgaria, but they were spread out a bit. We hope we can grow this a bit more where we get Bulgaria, of course, very deep, uh, quite a few SSCs in Bulgaria. Uh, Moldova coming up, um, Ukraine also coming up quite a lot. Um, so we hope we'll have this be a bit more populated next year. And the short list is, very short list is? Yeah, Bolpros and Alex. Bolpros and Alex. And the winner is Alex. Alex out of Bulgaria. And we don't have anyone from Alex tonight, unfortunately, or anyone from Bulgaria, I think, in this particular case. So we're going to go on to the next awards category, which is digital, top digital transformation services provider. Uh, and I do think we have a video here. Yes, Mr. Tutek? Good afternoon. My name is Tim Woodhouse from Winchell. And I am absolutely delighted to announce the award for the top digital transformation service provider. I congratulate you all on being nominated for this award. And of course, my congratulations to the winner. Digital transformation in our current environment is so important. And I fundamentally believe that our industry, the shared services and GBS industry, is absolutely vital to the delivery of digital transformation across all organizations. So congratulations again, and over to you, Tom, to present the award. I feel like I'm talking live to Tim, but I know that's a pre-recorded message. Okay, great. And the short list is, Magda. CE Poland, Tata, Consultancy Services Hungary Branch, TransUnion, Hostinger, and NFQ Technologies. Great, and the winner is TCS. And I believe we do have Prabal Data back on stage uh, once again. Prabal, let's beam him in and Hi, the Tom. chat. Congratulations, uh, Prabal. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, really a great honor to get selected out of this, uh, I don't know, first among equals. All the companies are really great. So we are privileged to be get selected as a winner. Give us a uh, one point or story or highlight of this particular nomination from the digital transformation. I know you guys are doing a th hundreds and thousands of these digital transformations, but we'd love to have one right. example. I mean, uh, there are so many examples, it's very difficult to give you in a second's time. I mean, but this is what we believe in. We believe that we can uh, make difference to people's lives, to businesses uh, using technology. And now that in uh, this pandemic situations, more and more companies are going for digital transformations to stay competitive. Uh, so it is uh, opening more opportunities for us. So whether it is uh, putting a bank's business on the cloud or bringing AI driven analytics uh, to a medical provider, there are thousands of examples that we do. The team in Hungary, which is uh, 2,700 people, and most of them are working on digital services. So yeah, no doubt uh, that we are there, so to say. Yeah. Super. Prabal, thank you very much. Congratulations to you and your team. Uh, and the next category is Top Employer Branding Initiative Central Europe. And we had, again, quite a few uh, companies in this category. Uh, do we have video here? No. We do have a video. 
No. Okay, short list is. Danska Bank Lithuania, IBM yeah, but... Slovakia, LSEG Romania, Moody's Lithuania and Tata Consultancy Services Hungary branch. Do we have video? No. I can't, that's yes. So run a video. Great. We do have a short video. Dear participants, jury and contestants, hello and good evening from Vilnius, Lithuania. Amerisos Bergen World Courier Lithuania is a proud sponsor of a very important award in our highly competitive talent market. The companies that have been nominated and shortlisted have great examples to share with us. So please warmly welcome the winner of Top Employer Branding Initiative Central and the winner is Danske Bank, Lithuania. And we do have someone from Danske to accept the award here live in our new format. Vidius, hello. Yeah, hi everyone. Yeah, it's... Congratulations to you and to Danske Bank. Give us a couple of words about Danske Bank and uh, why you think it might be justified that you guys have taken away this very impressive category. Thank you, Tom. Really, really exciting. I believe it's uh, already a second time in a row when uh, Danske Bank is getting this employer branding initiative award. Previously, it was a Future Pros program, and now it's uh, Danske Uni. Really, really exciting. And uh, I feel bad that we cannot all be in the ballroom feeling all that Energy and excitement. getting all that feeling, you know, energy, yeah, and excitement in the ballroom. Really, we need to continue this. And once we are over COVID, we need to get back, take the air tickets, and and then fly to Warsaw and meet there. Well, we look forward to. So seeing thank you all, everyone again. Danske Bank, congratulations for the category. Good. We are on to the next category: Top Employer Brand Initiative for Poland. Um, and I think we also have a video for this particular one. Yes. Was that a yes or no? I can't see. Yes. That's a yes. Romek. Hello, everyone. Great to be here today. Uh, I wish I could say that we're all together in the room and I could see all the happy smiling, happy smiling faces, but unfortunately, we can only do that virtually. But that's better than nothing. So next year, we will all be together. That's, that's the big thing. So, 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 so. Uh, top employer branding initiative for Poland. Great award, great award. I thought about this, how do you win it? For me, you have to think this one through. You have to strategize around it. It needs to be deep and thoughtful. You need to implement it, and it's a lot of hard work. So for me, this is a really tough award. So first of all, congratulations to the winner. And secondly, Tom, who is the winner? And the short list is, yes? ABB Business Services. Oops, go back, please. Oh, still I, I remember. Still <laughs> thunder, exactly. Credit Suisse Poland, DNV, GSK Tech Poznan, Invest in Pomerania, and State Street Bank Poland. And the winner is ABB. Congratulations, ABB in Krakow. And we do have ABB here. We're going to patch him in. That might be Peter Mitchell. Oh, you're taking that, some chances, that. Peter, on the car. Great. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, good, good evening, everyone. Th thanks very much, Tom. Th thank you, everyone. Yeah, I'm in the car, but I'm I'm safe. I, I'm I'm not the driver, and the driver is family, so so I'm it's all good. Um, super happy to receive this. Um, absolutely, on behalf of, of of all of the the leadership and the employees. Uh, thank you very much. Can, can you, Peter? Can you give us a, a one minute overview of what the actual employer branding initiative was? What it was all about? Absolutely. So it started, you know, when I, when I entered the center about two years back, uh, we decided as a leadership team to really work together on putting the employee first um, and making sure that the say do ratio was 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 at an all time high. Lots of uh, I initiatives and encouragement around, let's say, employee benefits, uh, digitalizing much more the HR processes to make life easier onboarding, uh, career development, 
um, and and of course we touched on managerial training and um, and high potential program as well. So it was a combination of many things based on the survey we received, feedback. We did not put it in the cupboard to gather dust. We actually uh, brought it to life and uh, brought uh, the engagement of the employees up as a result of that. So happy happy employees equals or at least is a good road and foundation towards happy and happy customers. So that was the, uh, the theme around, uh, around that initiative. And I'm happy to say that it's still very much alive within the, the center today. Great, well congratulations Peter to you and uh, all of the ABB team in Krakow. Uh, big congrats and thanks for joining us in your, in your daily commute, I guess it is. Yeah, very good, glad we got you. Okay, we're on the next category, which is top CSR initiative of the year, Poland. Um, and the short list is? Cisco, Denton's Business Services EMEA, Fujitsu Technology Solutions, CE Poland, State Street Bank Poland, and Thuzen Group, Group Services Gdańsk. And do we have a video for this one? I think not. And the winner is Cisco with the WebEx 4 for teachers, this particular initiative. We don't have Cisco here today. Congratulations to uh, Ramon uh, Tancino and the rest of the guys at Cisco. They've grown their operation incredibly over the number of years. Um, and this particular initiative was very selfless, I think. Uh, interesting application. And congrats to Cisco for uh, their leadership in the CSR side of things. We're now going to jump onto the same category for Central Europe. Top CSR initiative of the year, Central East Europe. And the short list is... Magda? Amerisource Bergen World Korea Lithuania, Deutsche Telekom Services Europe Slovakia, Exxon Mobil Business Support Center Czechia, SoftSurf Steelcare Romania, and Yara Lituva UAB. Do we have a video to, to deck? No. Okay. So the winner is Amerisource Bergen World Courier. And we would like to patch into Vilnius, I guess. Congratulations, Agle. Hello, Give us that cheer everybody. again. We just missed that. We just missed it. That's good. Exactly. Congrats. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, absolutely thrilled that uh, we have won this category. And I could not be prouder uh, for our team. Uh, you all have seen today Aurelia doing our pitch um, and really sharing the story, how we developed uh, the partnership uh, with uh, SOS uh, uh, Save the Children organization taking care of one particular uh, daycare center uh, for children in rural area. And we started actually the second week of global lockdown. Uh, you know, we threw all the different activities, fundraisers, um, games for our teams that at the end of the day, uh, we raised uh, money to have uh, hot lunches to children's families. And we continued with them, you know, to make sure that we uh, not only have uh, individual projects, uh, but we act as partners with those families. And we connect our associate families uh, with uh, the children in need. And, uh, you know, it, it's such a rewarding activities in many, many uh, ways, in many, many cases. So I'm very, very proud about our team effort. That's truly uh, team awards. Yeah, so I'm very happy. Well, in addition to Amerisource Bergen, which should feel very proud, I think it would be interesting, it would be good to know that, that the people that are the beneficiaries of the uh, charity that you're doing, or an in initiative, let's say, um, let them know that they have won against a lot of competition. Um, might be kind of interesting Absolutely. information. Absolutely. So congratulations. Absolutely, we'll share this award with them, yes. Super. Congratulations, Egla and Amerisos Bergen in Vilnius. And we are on to the next category, which is top BSC HR Director of the Year. I think we have four more categories. Um, for those of you who are still with us in the, on the, at home on screen, uh, top HR Director of the Year since Europe. Um, and the short list is? Avis Budget Group BSC Marta Besseni, Circle K Business Center Katarzyna Peda, NASDAQ Technology and Business Services, Rita Cepinskiene, SEB Rita Valatkiene, and Telia Global Services, Lithuania, Mindauga Sestilo. And the winner goes to Avis Budget Group in Budapest. We do have Avis Budget Group online. Marta, congratulations. 
Thank you so much. Good evening for everyone. It's a great pleasure and a honor for me to be awarded with this uh, recognition. Uh, but I can say that it's uh, it's not my award. So I am it's I'm very thankful for the entire team at Avis Budget Group BSC Budapest, uh, great uh, leadership team, great associates, and uh, you know, especially in these unprecedented times which uh, really affected our industry. I think that's a great uh, achievement uh, and we reached uh, great milestones during this year as well. So I'm, I'm very uh, thankful and grateful uh, for okay, everyone. Well, Thank well, you. I, understand. I was in the jury dinner conversation last night and of course read through all the applications. And uh, what really came up was the fact that Avis is a very difficult year as a group and you guys having to deal with the HR side of it, which is not pleasant, I'm sure, and difficult and challenging at times. So that was uh, one of the things that the jury mentioned last night, was navigating through an extremely difficult downturn in your sector of travel. So congratulations to you, to your team, to Avis, um, and to Hungary, for that matter. So thank, thank you, Thank you so much. Great, enjoy Th the evening. Okay, we're on to the next category. Top HR Director of the Year for Poland, and the is that a yes for video? No. We have video. Good. Let's do video first. Good evening, yes. ladies and gentlemen. We are very honored to be with you and express our gratitude to all business center directors nominated in the category. There is no doubt you all gave fantastic performances to bring your business centers to highest operational and excellence levels. Success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Winston Churchill. May enthusiasm and technology be with you. So may the best one win the title for the Business Center Director of the Year. And I want to just one comment about that was the former ING Bank essentially with their new brand, Say IO. So they announced that yesterday. And uh, good luck with that new brand um, going into the process automation sector. So the top HR Director of the Year shortlist is? Yeah, 3M Global Service Center Poland and Anna Meyer, EPAM Systems Poland Radosław Świętoń, PwC Service Delivery Center Jolanta Woś Faruni, and Scheffler Global Services Europe Gabriela Słonska. And the winner is PwC Service Delivery Center Jolanta. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, Magda. Uh, thank you very much. A great pleasure to um, to be here. Of course, I would prefer to be in Wrocław and to take this uh, award in person, but we are where we are. So thank you very much. Uh, the best thanks goes to my team because this is actually their award, and uh, I'm I'm so proud of my team. So thank you very much uh, one more time, and uh, congratulations to to all winners tonight. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Yolanta. And would you uh, give us one or two points? Are you still there? We keep her in there for a second. Um, one or two points, by the way, from your perspective as HR director, what you've been through, one or two points from this last year, what has been particularly challenging and difficult, and maybe some key things that have been big successes for you guys. I think that the, the, the biggest challenge is to keep people involved and engaged. And this is, I think, uh, right now the biggest challenge uh, because uh, we are working remotely and it is extremely uh, difficult for leaders, uh, for team leaders, for, for managers. So I think that this is the challenge. That's why we uh, implemented pulse checks. We are very close to people. And I think that uh, this is one of our advantage. And uh, I would say um, uh, this is why we are where we are, because we, we really are close to people. So so I think that this is the biggest challenge right now. Well, the jury agreed with that. So did the popular vote. So Yolanta, congratulations to you and the PwC Service Delivery Center in Katowice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. Thank we you. We will. Thank you. So we are on to two more categories. Uh, and this is the Business Center Director of the Year for Central Europe. We do have a video, I believe. Mr. Tutek, yes? Is that yes or no? I can't no, see because no, there's so much light. Okay. Yeah, no, okay, the short list is. Uh, Avis Budget Group BSC Rahul Mahatram, British Telecommunications in Hungary Zoltan Szabo, Circle K Business Center Arturs Anzans, Deutsche Telekom Services Europe Slovakia Marek Rysowski, Intrum Global Business Services UAB Suzanne Allenberg, MSC Shared Service Center Riga Rodian Shiryaev, 
Rocket Software Elinga Kawaliauskiene, SEB Rita Jasulianiene, Societe Generale Global Solution Center Mathieu Pasquier, SoftServe Andon Simenov, and Tata Consultancy Services Hungary Prabal Data. Don't run the slide yet, Wojtek, hold on a second. Um, this is why I let her read out the names, because it's so difficult and very, very well done. Very well done. Thank you very so, much. Very well done. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing it and not me. Yeah. So the, uh, the winner of this particularly busy category is Société Générale in Bucharest, uh, and it is Mathieu Pasquier. Mathieu, congratulations. We can't hear you. Volume, sound, guys. Nope, we can't hear you, Mathieu. Hold on. We'll get back with you. Let's get them online. You guys get it done. Let's try again. Are you mute or something? Let's see. Okay, we're going to get you. Hold on. We're okay. We're in good condition. All right, guys. A good moment for me to say congratulations or thanks to, to the tech team here, to the two tech tech team, I should say, as well as the Wolves Digital guys running the show here. Uh, once again, incredible, impressive um, technical support here uh, with Hopin, uh, technical support with the, with the slides and the videos, um, and really, really could not do anything close to this without you guys doing it. Um, so we've also are using the Hopin platform to its full uh, advantages, in my opinion, including this, this broadcast tonight via Hopin. Um, which, by the way, keep in mind, if you're on the Hopin platform now, or you, you are, because that's the only way you can watch us, is that during the course of this meeting right now, this, these awards, you can jump on to the networking feature of Hopin. You can also do the one-on-one -on -one video meetings inside Hopin. So after this event uh, finishes in about 10 minutes, we will leave the Hopin system on for about half an hour. So if you want to begin to have a couple of conversations with people as we wind down, that would be great. So have we got Mathieu yet? Yes, that's a yes. Good. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Am I audible? You are on. Hello, Mathieu. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello. Finally. But first of all, I, I, I need to say that you guys pronounce my name very, very well. I've been working uh, outside of uh, France for 20 years and uh, your pronunciation is very good. So thank you. Very, very proud to, uh, to, to uh, be with you and to win this award. Um, I really want to... Uh, to, to, to uh, uh, to thank you all, uh, all my management team and uh, all the teams in uh, Société Générale uh, Global Solution Center in uh, in Romania because I, I believe um, your choice was very difficult because all the managers in those uh, uh, difficult times uh, had really to adapt to new situations, uh, keep the staff engaged, uh, keep engaging with our clients or internal partners uh, to deliver to them what they are expecting naturally, which is uh, uh, delivery excellence. We, we, we manage in uh, AG uh, Global Solution Center to do uh, all of this. Uh, and and uh, uh, thanks to all the, all the teams, uh, I would like to uh, really thank them. And I, I would like to offer them this, uh, this prize tomorrow with a, a lot of proudness. Thank you very much. Great. Congratulations to Sokjen in Bucharest, Thank Mr. You. Pasquier. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the evening. And you guys deserve it. Take a glass of wine. And uh, Romanian wine is very good these days, right? So, Absolutely. <laughs> if that's coming from a Frenchman, that says a lot. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Okay, we are on to the last category. And the last category is Business Center Director of the Year for Poland. Uh, we have a last video. Is that a yes? We do. The last video introducing the award. Romic. Great to be up here once again. Um, gives me great, great pleasure to, to give this award, Centre Manager of the Year Poland. Um, I, I was a centre manager for many years. Uh, it's one of the, uh, the greatest things I've ever done. I, I always go back to that time thinking about how difficult it was to run the office, the business, the, the widest you know uh, view of GBS it's it's a, it's a big job it's a big job and therefore this award is a big award um, when I think of this you know the people who've won it before I've known every winner of this award so far for, um, and, and they are great people so whoever wins this year is going to join that that realm of greatness congratulations in advance 
just want to share with everyone uh, a little bit about what this award really is about. It's about people. Um, what we run is a service industry and the service is, is, is run by people and therefore the, the one asset we have are our staff. So we need great staff, we need to keep great staff, we need to develop them, we need to keep them happy, etc, etc. We need to be fair, balanced, all of those things, so your staff, your asset, big piece of work in its own right. Then add another dimension to that, which is relationships, and I think that's even more complex. So you've got the clients, whether that be internal or external, they're still clients, they're still complaining a lot, you know, they seem to ring every time there's a problem, they never ring when it was good. You've got your bosses, and to be honest, you've got a lot of politics going on as well. And you have to juggle all of that and keeping all your staff and people happy and, and, and keeping everyone going. Um, so this, this is the tricky one. And then if I add a dimension to this, um, the community, so it's not just the people in the building, it's a wider, wider group of people. And then add this year, just to make it even more difficult, COVID. Really challenging. You're running a centre, it's the livelihood of hundreds of people, thousands of people. Um, you know, they're reliant on you to be strong, firm, smart, balanced, all of those things, all of those things. So it's a really, really big job. And so it's a big award. And, and really, it gives me truly great pleasure to, to give this award today. And I truly, truly congratulate you. Well done. Um, well done. Um, and, and you owe me a drink or I owe you one. I don't care, we're having, both of us will have a drink. Um, have a great evening. Once again, congratulations. Tom, the award winner today is? I'm over here, I'm over here by the way. The short list is? Yeah, uh, Freem Global Service Center Poland, Vangelis Savas, Credit Suisse Poland, Aneta Kocemba, Frista Szymon Stadnik, MMC Group Services, Marta Stier, Olympus Business Services, Agnieszka Orłowska, PwC Service Delivery Center, Rafał Gajda, Scheffler Global Services Europe, Anna Berczyńska, Softser, Paweł Łopatka, and Fusion Group Group Services Gdańsk, Gdańsk Mirta Hegeduzik, and Dr. Ralf Sonberger. And in my pleasure to announce the last winner of the award tonight is Thyssen Krupp Group Services. And we do, I believe we do have Mirta or someone from Thyssen Group on this call. Yes, great. Let's pop in for Mirta. Hello, Mirta. Nice to see you. Hello, everyone. Hi. This is a big surprise. Thank you, Tom, for inviting us. And um, I must say that I'm really surprised. Um, thanks a lot. Um, this was a challenging year. Like you can imagine for all of us, it was the same for us. So um, much thanks. I, I accept this award in front of Ralph and myself, but also in front of all of our management team because uh, it is the team who carry it also with us. So all the best and thank you so much. Mirta, give us a couple of points about what Tyson Group is doing. You're in Gdańsk, right? Exactly. Give us a bit of profile. Gdańsk, yeah. um, um, about the company Tyson Group or about our shared service? Shared services. Okay, so we have um, a pretty, um, I would say, diversified uh, portfolio of services. Two biggest services are obviously IT and finance, but we offer also um, other smaller services like purchasing uh, and HR. Um, um, we have quite a big uh, IT team where we are very proud of. The IT team is also growing. Uh, but uh, our uh, finance portfolio is um, also quite stable and we hope it will grow in the future as well. Mirta, congratulations to you and to Tyson Group as well as to the city of Gdańsk. So uh, well done, well Thank deserved. So Glad to have you as the last winner for the night. So we're not quite finished, wow, but we're we are, almost we are finished. Thrilled. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, so you very much. much for joining us tonight. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Uh, we are on the home stretch. A couple of words left. I just want to say thanks again to our partners, to our sponsors, um, to the, the associations, to the investment development agencies of countries, of cities across the region. We have tremendous support, tremendous help, and I appreciate it, especially this year. It's meant so much to us. Difficult to get it all done. Thanks again to the two tech staff here, to Magda, thank you very much, to all of the team at hop in and the Wolves Digital support guys as well. Um, to Danuta, to Suavik, to other guys on our team. Thank you all very much. Um, we will be back. And next slide we have here is uh,
This is the plan. Best laid plans, they say. February 2nd, 3rd, next year, 10th annual CE Business Services Summit and Awards. Mark your calendar, not in pencil, in ink. We'll be there. Hopefully we'll have a great time. We all miss each other. It's not nearly as much fun for any of you and for us as well. We want to be back and talking to people, exchanging conversations, having a glass of wine, a nice dinner, and I hope you all have a great coming summer and the fall and hope to very much see you in the early part of 2022. Enjoy the rest of the evening and thank you once again for all of your support.